if i want to start a business after five years or ten years so from day one i have to plan in such a way that one what is the amount of funds is required for my business what is the object of investments we have here there are three objects are there growth income as well as growth and income if i think and analyze the situations of the market and if then if i invest on particular stock so that will be benefited for me warm welcome to fourth sem bca students the subject what we are going to discuss is financial education and investment awareness which guides all the individuals about the concept of what is finance and how to manage the finance and how they can get the benefit of their savings and how they can get the benefit of reducing their income means reducing the tax burden from their income and even to reduce their expenditure and control their part here I am Professor Rajesh L R from Department of Commerce and Management, Vidya Sam First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. In today's syllabus, what we have here, it is a three different parts. What we have: Foundation for Finance. In this Foundation for Finance, the concept what we have here: Basics of Economics. So, in this one, what do you mean by economics? What are the microeconomics, macroeconomics, and why the terms are taken into finance and how it is going to be benefited for our commerce students or management or computer students here and the terms of key terms like income expenditure savings and even the revenue expenses capital expense these are the different terms what we're going to learn in our first part in the second part banking in india what is a bank what is banking what is the functions of banking how many different types of deposits of banking are there and what is the rules and regulations are there to open an account and what are the functions of rbi and who is controlling the rbi and what is the duty of the rbi who is issuing currencies and who are issuing the coins like the different concepts we are going to learn in our banking in india the third one orientation to financial statement means here yeah, how to read and analyze the financial statements in our business sector if i am an investor how to read means how to go through the statements given by the company for us to understand that one whether the company is in the profit mode or it is in the not a profit mode whether i can get back my investment or whether i'll be getting the dividend whether the dividend is paid every year with the high growth rate of percentage or whether the dividend are paid in the constant so to get all this information so we should know that one how to read and analyze the financial statement financial statements here trading account profit and loss account and the balance sheet how to go through that one which information is very important for me and which information is not important for me so like this we are going to learn with this one we are going to have a better idea of calculating the ratios like current ratio liquid ratio turnover ratios profitability ratios with the help of these ratios we can analyze where we are standing whether the company is standing in a, a profit mode or its performance is very good whether it is controlling all the things in its business sector or not so to get those information these are the basic concept what have we are going to learn in our upcoming sessions the next one basics of financial planning so now if i want to start a business after 5 years or 10 years so from day one i have to plan in such a way that one what is the amount of funds is required for my business how much it is required for me from where i can get this benefit and uh, if i'm borrowing the loan from the market what is the rate of interest i have to pay like this everything i have to plan in such a way that one after starting my business i should not face any problems in the business sector if i decide now itself what is the amount amount required for my future business like assume that i require 25 lakhs to start my business here this 25 lakhs how i can whether can i get the amount from my savings or can i get support from the 
parents? Can I get support from the market? Can I get support from the government? Like this, the, with the concept of these things, if I decide now itself and if I prepared all the things at this time of starting any business and after starting my business, there will be no issue in my moment of or flow of cash in the business or outside the business. And in the second part, it is totally related to the investment management. In this, we are going to learn about what are the basic investment products are there. Like, for example, we have government schemes, we have like Sukanya Samruddhi Yojana or Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana or it may be National Pension Scheme or it may be National Savings Schemes. Like we have plenty of things are there where we can know that. But if we know properly where to invest, how to invest, what is the minimum age is required to invest and what is the maximum limit up to what up to what age we can invest here and what is the minimum amount has to be invested, what is the maximum amount should be invested to get the additional benefits and which supports my future aspects. Either it may be in the present sector, like for example, whether I require after five years or whether I want after 20 years or after 30 years or after 40 years, when it is required for me, for what purpose it is required. Like for example, if I'm planning now, if I want, if I say that when I require after five years or six years, it may be to purchase a car. If it is after four years or five years, it may be to purchase a house like this. So what is the purpose if you decide now itself so you can invest better in the proper aspects and you can manage that one. We are going to call that managing the assets. Your portfolio management should be proper to save your money and even you should have proper control before investing in any concepts in the market. Analyze, have a market study and then invest and you think that one, what is the right time and right funds which yields me more benefits. So if you Without doing all these things, if you invest, you may face the risk more in the investment part here. So better take care of your investments. What is the object of investments we have here? There are three objects are there growth, income as well as growth and income. So here, what is that growth, income, income and growth here means whether my amount should be increased or whether for my amount a regular income should be received here or both should be there. Means if I invest 10 lakhs, that 10 lakhs should become a 15 lakhs or 16 lakhs. That is called growth. Income means I have invested 10 lakhs here. Every month I have to receive the interest from that one. Or the next part we have, I have invested 10 lakhs. Even I want every month returns, but later it should be increased amount where I have to receive like this. The main objective of any investors will be the growth, income and growth and income. The next what we have here capital markets like primary market and secondary market in this market, how the market is supporting the individuals or the business people and how they're guiding the business sector by mobilizing the savings from the public and the same amount will be utilized for the business sector here by lending them in the form of loans either it may be secured loan or unsecured loan or the loans may be provided to any person for the benefit of the individuals. The next one stock selections and stock return risk. In this criteria if I want to select like if I want to invest in certain companies on my shares or debentures or bonds or if I want to invest in a mutual fund, I have to think that one which is the right option is there in the market at present scenario which yields me more benefits like if I invest today 100 rupees after six months whether I can get 175 or 200 
or 250 without any loss for me. Like this, if I think and analyze the situations of the market and if then if I invest on particular stock, so that will be benefited for me. Or else we may lose the entire investment amount and later we should not blame anyone. Without the study of market and without analyzing what type of risk are there, and if I borrowed the money from the market, like I borrowed 2 lakhs and that amount has been invested in the market means that I have taken a wrong step here. If I have my own savings that can be invested, I can take the risk here. By borrowing the funds from the market and then if I'm investing, I'm not a right person to do that one in such a way that one without analyzing the market i borrowed the money where i have to pay the interest to them and if this amount is going to increase it gives the growth for me and if the my entire two lakhs will return back me so i can pay that one easily but if i couldn't get that one so then there'll be two burdens on me where i have to pay the amount and in the same time i lost my entire amount here Instead of that one, have a proper study analysis, then analyze what is the term it is required for you, whether it is for the short term or medium term or long term. Then you think whether can I invest in this present scenario on the present products or not. The part three is related to mutual fund and financial planning essentials. Introduction to mutual funds, what type of mutual funds we have in the market, uh, whether open-ended mutual funds or close-ended mutual funds. So which type of mutual funds are there and which type of mutual funds are better for me, whether can I invest for one year or two years or three years or what should be the period to invest and in which mutual fund I have to invest in the present scenario by seeing a people or people are guiding before getting the information whether can you trust that person or the company it is left to the person of investor well i'm going to say that one x5 company is a very good company you can invest in this mutual funds where you'll get today if you invest 10000 tomorrow it will be a huge amount what you're going to receive before investing based on my guidance you just analyze that one whether can i trust that company whether can i trust the person who is communicating about the future benefits for me or not then you decide whether i want to invest in this particular sector or not the next one we have criteria for selection of mutual funds is nothing but the period and the amount and the company company's nature personal behavior of the investor based on all these things then i have to decide where to invest and how much to invest. in the last part we're going to decide plan financial planning life cycle and personal budget i have to prepare myself a budget what is the source of income i receiving every month what is the regular source of income and what are the my irregular source of income i'm getting and how much i'm going to make expenditure and what is the total amount i'm saving here after making all my expenditures and all other expenses what is the amount unspent amount is going to be available with us so that amount can i deposit in the funds or not you have to think that way. without having the uh, family budget if you think that to invest the amount without having analysis without having proper guidance if you take the steps you may lose the money in the market so better analyze have a proper study and then have a good uh, decisions that is the thing always i say it should be a right time and right please and the right amount should be invested to have a right gain for our future in the subject the concept what we have here the question paper pattern which is as per the nep syllabus and university of mysore based on the previous question paper march 2023 this has been communicated to you and this is the guidance and the advice how the question paper will be there in the question paper it has been divided into three parts the first one is part a which is for two marks part b for six marks and part c for 10 marks the two marks question whatever we have here so we are going to get five questions out of three parts we are going to get five questions where i have to write only four questions where it will be eight marks 
in my six marks weightage, we have to answer two questions where we'll get number of questions. We are going to get four. Means two out of four questions has to be written where the marks will be 12. And the last one, it is a 10 marks weightage. Only one question I have to answer and they're going to ask one question. Means there is no option here. We have to compulsorily write this last question for 10 marks and 90% it will be your case study problem where you have to analyze the situation and then you have to calculate based on the analysis what you made on that part you have to write it here. Assume that the case study whatever they are giving based on your future planning or based on your parents uh, concept they would give the case study problem for you people. It will be very simple only thing you have to analyze and have to write. They are going to ask you people for example if I have a plan for my children education I need uh, 5 lakhs or 6 lakhs after 5 years based on the formula you just calculate and say in 2023 the investment is 3 lakhs if you are planning to do MBA after 5 years means in the 2028 it may not be 3 lakhs it may be 6 lakhs or 6 and a half lakhs based on the formula calculate and just communicate them and just guide them this is the thing what we have. The case study problem will be very easy. Only I have to analyze and apply the formula, future value formula, which supports me, guides me to secure marks here. Thank you to all my dear students. In this session, we have learned the subject, what we have in the fourth sim, financial education and investment awareness, which support us not only for the graduation purpose, even for our future life, where and how and it will benefit in my life or in my future aspects. Thank you to all.